What's up, everyone? There's lots of great hobbies out there. Some people like to golf. Some people like to work with model trains. Some people like to knit. Some people like to paint. Some people like to garden. Some people like to work on their engines. There's lots of different great hobbies out there. But one of my favorite ones, and probably the most sustainable hobby long-term, one that you'll never get tired of, is reading the Bible. And the reason for that is that you continue to find things that you didn't know were there. And you continue to connect the dots where you didn't have them connected before. There is no end to it. I used to think, hey, maybe I'll master the Bible someday. Well, no, the Bible masters us over time. And there is too much content for our minds to hold it. So it will always be a little beyond our grasp to understand the fullness of it. And our experiences change and we grow. And over time, we are able to understand things at a higher level that we perhaps read several years ago. I would think that for your spiritual and emotional health, there is no better hobby than enjoying the Bible. And I do mean enjoying the Bible. Today, I ran into something just fascinating. We had a passage from the Proverbs, Proverbs 3, verses 7 through 9. And I always wondered where Jesus got the phrase, daily bread, from the Lord's Prayer. Give us this day our daily bread. Never occurred to me that he might have gotten it from the book of Proverbs. And I know that he did because here it is, right here in black and white. It says here, Give me neither poverty nor riches, but give me only my daily bread. And it's a great, uh, great phrase in Hebrew. Lechem, which is bread. Beit Lechem is the house of bread, Bethlehem. And we get chuki, and that is your portion, your regular portion, your share of bread for the day. A fair share of bread, what you need, your ration of bread. And it's just beautiful to see how Jesus was in the word. My sense is that the Lord himself, Jesus himself, was one of those people whose hobby was the Bible, and he would continue to go through it, and we can tell where he was. We know where he was when he was being tempted by Satan, because he's quoting over and over from the same part of the Bible. It's, it's fantastic stuff. So I just invite you to a daily portion of spiritual bread. The Bible says we don't live by bread alone. Man does not live by bread alone. Men and women, we don't live by just food, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. I would invite you this month to think of your daily portion of the word of God and getting that every day and asking the Lord to give you a love and enjoyment for it. That's the good news for today, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.